So we can write fractions, ratios, percents, and rates. We can just connect them all together. They're essentially the same thing. So as a fraction 3 over 5, that can be converted into ratio, decimal, and percent. So ratio, we can just keep it as 3 to 5. Okay, as a decimal, we can write it as 0.6. As a percent, we can show that as 60%. Okay. And this ratio can be shown as a decimal ratio. For example, we can show this as 0.6 to 1, a unit ratio, which is the same as our decimal, which again, we use as our multiplier in our rate problems. So we can change this 230 kilometers in four hours into a unit rate. And we can find a unit rate or a multiplier by dividing. Okay, so 240, 230 divided by 4 hours, sorry, 230 divided by 4 hours gives us 57.5 kilometers per hour. And that is our unit rate. Okay, and we can write this as a ratio, a unit ratio of 57. 0.5 kilometers to one hour. We can write this as it's a whole number proportion as 230 kilometers to four hours. Okay, and these are equivalent rates to each other or equivalent ratios. So my heart beats 34 times in 45 seconds. Okay, so we can write this as a rate of 34 beats in 45 seconds. Okay, and as a unit rate, we can write this as 34 divided by 45. We end up with 0.755 repeating. Okay, so 0.75 and just round that to six. And this is beats per second. We could also write it as uh, the ratio the other way. So for example, we can write this as 45 seconds for 34 beats. Okay, and then we can write this as a unit rate the other way. Okay, so if we do 30, 45 divided by 34, we get our 1.32 seconds per beat. Okay, and these are all the same rates, okay, although they're in different terms and they are in reverse of each other. So these ones on this side are in reverse of these ones on this side. Okay, so the ones in blue here, I'm just going to circle the blue, are the reverse rate or what we call the, the, the reciprocal rate, okay, but they're the same rates. Okay, it's just the direction of the rates are, are a little bit different. Okay, equivalent ratios. Well, we can find an equivalent ratio by using a common multiplier. So I'm just going to do times 2, times 2. Okay, and that gives us an equivalent rate. Okay, and then we can do equivalent ratio the same way. So in this case here, I kind of need, don't know what my multiplier is, so I want to figure that out. And if I want to find my multiplier from here to here, I divide. Okay, so this is my unit rate that I can use. So divide. Okay, by any time I want to find a multiplier, I divide. So it's times by 4.4. So from here to here, we're going to use the same multiplier times by 4.4. So 8 times 4.4 gives us 35.2. Okay, so here again we can find our common multiplier divisor. Here we're going to divide by 3. So divide by 3, we're going to get 4 fifths. Now it's very important that you show me these multipliers and these multiplying factors. If you're being asked for these, especially on a test, when I when you do a test on these, you will be asked 
to show the multiplying factors. Okay. So a decimal percent of 0.5 is equivalent to 75%. I think this is a typo. This should be 0.75. Okay. The 0.75 equivalent to 75%. Well, we can just show that 75% is 75 compared to 100 and a decimal percent of 0.75 is being compared to 1. Okay, and we can show that they are equivalent because by showing the common multiplier or divisor. So we're dividing by 100 here, dividing by 100 here. That means there's a times divide relationship between the top and bottom that is the same. They're in proportion to each other. These are equivalent proportions, so they must be equivalent. 